all right what's up guys i know it's been a while since i posted on the channel um i guess i should introduce the 92 hatch to you guys uh i've got this about two months ago slowly i've been going over it changing a few things um i'm just going to go through a quick breakdown on all the stuff that i've already changed on the hatch um, and what the plans are for the hatch in the future and why i changed the parts that i did so when I got this thing, it was a 92, uh, just stock DX hatch, so it had the D15B7 in it. Um, shortly after buying the car, um, I did drive away about 15 minutes. That engine blew up. Um, so started to search for another engine. I was going to B-swap, but in the meantime, I wanted to get this thing running a while so I could see what other bugs were hiding on this, and I ended up grabbing just an... Uh, the JDM D15B engine, non-single, um, non-VTEC engine, of course. Um, just so it was a quick plug and play. If you don't know, the D15B is pretty much the same as the D15B7 minus mechanical fuel pump. Um, we'll get inside, do this a little bit. If you see my last video, you'll know that I always complain about the wind. And once again, windy again. No surprise there. Um, so because I got this car, it is a pretty clean hatch, uh, no rust on it. Um, it had 154,000 miles. Um, it, since it's a DX, it came with the normal cluster, which I already swapped the cluster out, as you can tell, so I could have the RPM gauge included in it. It did already come with the quick release steering wheel, which, as a lot of people know, you click it off and it makes the, the ching sound when you pop it back on. Um, the radio was not working on the front door speakers, so I bought a new stereo thinking maybe the stereo went out in it. Um, it wasn't the stereo, it was actually both door speakers. The uh, speaker connections were not even, they were corroded, so they weren't allowing, obviously, music to pass through. So, rewired those. Now it has sound. I ordered the rear speaker. Um, plastics and the mount in the back so now i have rear speakers as well that was actually pretty expensive and like i said this thing has full interior which is one of the main reasons i bought it because it's kind of nice that it's not hasn't been gutted out yet s2000 seats uh of course manual um does have some things that are here and they're slightly broken like this uh this actually still works cigarette lighter actually works uh ironically enough even with the engine swap the compressor um had no freon in it but i recharged it the ac actually works which is pretty interesting um this has the blue interior let's see what else i did change out the lights in the back for the cluster so now it's red instead of your typical like like dingy white and i also went with the the Japanese clock since it didn't have one all the only thing different with the USDM and Japanese clock is Japanese is orange USDM is white all in all so far it's been pretty good interior wise but like I said the engine did blow in it I did swap out the cat back it had a I actually put a posting in one of my YouTube pictures about me swapping the cat back out which required me to buy another cat i should have just ran a test bite but i bought another cat that was a 17 inch length for a coupe and the one i had on mine was a 15 and a half so it didn't mate together with the the gretty sp cat back which does sound fairly well got the cool get gretty sp exhaust it already had the rear bracing and coilovers on it Yes, it did come with the work wheels, Workmeister SP1s or SP2s. I swapped out the taillights for the Spec D with the tinted rears. It came with a carbon wing, but the carbon wing was destroyed, so I bought another carbon wing for it. So we got another carbon wing. It does have all the back plastics and stuff like that. I did have to cut into the rear plastics to put in the DC Sports rear 
rear brace on the strut towers so you do have to cut a little bit of the plastic away to uh, notch out for the actual mounting location which it doesn't look terribly bad for just a quick little dremel job and of course with the new wing you get the the new hardware for it the wing actually looks really nice we'll move around um so yeah we got the work wheels i had to swap out the antenna piece because the seal was actually bad in it i was mainly finding like a little bit of water down here on the floor i think i still have a slight leak but i'm pretty sure that's from the windshield molding i went changed out the oem mirrors for the spoon style mirrors Next up, we got, of course, like I said, we got the D15B motor. As you can tell, it's a normal D15B. Uh, stock exhaust manifold, stock downpipe, uh, stock rad, all that stuff stock. We got, you know, of course, AC, no power steering. So this is a manual rack car. Um, I swapped over the D15B7 manifold to the D15B, it just mates right up. Like I said, the D15B is pretty much a D15B7. I went with the K-tuned ground wires. So we got one back here I added because it wasn't long enough to uh, take place of that one. Second K-tuned ground down here by the trans. We have the, of course, basically like a whale penis intake. Uh, which was a password AG JDM intake got the Cusco battery tie down um, And then we got the cool little you know little absorbers there. You got the new oil uh, fuel filter uh, Just got basically just the crankcase hose just leading to the intake I had to run a new distributor because I thought the other one was dying and it wasn't it was just timing was slightly out And like I was saying this was the setup here. I guess still have to run the uh coolant hose because this was the PCV and then or the crankcase hose and then you got the other coolant hose there so I had to run a solid hose to get rid of this split hose but if you look down there you'll see that's where the mechanical fuel pump would have been if this would have stayed the D15B B car that was like a semi carbed car um, you got the coilovers other DC sports bar but all in all I really didn't change too much you do I did get get rid of the headlights and change out for the LEDs that's the cool little LED bar up top turn the lights on that way you can see it got the cool LED bar I honestly wasn't too hard to wire that up you can you wire this thing up to the running lights and then basically it'll come on or you can just turn it on to when the headlights come on I hooked it up that way it's also running LED bulbs, so it's very, very bright. But overall, so far this car has actually been fairly cheap to modify all this stuff. Like I said, it, it did kind of suck that I bought it. The engine blew within like 15 minutes. It was tapping really bad. And that was at highway speeds, and it just blew apart. It stayed running, of course. You know, D-Series are known to be pretty, uh, pretty stout little things. But swapped that out for another D-15B. Bought this motor for i want to say it was two three hundred bucks i took the trans from the d the b7 made it to this obviously i bought the new clutch pressure plate all that good stuff ran new belts for the ac and alternator so we're running continental belts did timing water pump pulleys and all that when i had first got this one new valve cover plugs wires along with the distributor of course and then obviously oil so i swapped the oil twice already just to make sure because i didn't know how long this engine actually sat for also it sprayed the whole intake down to try to clean it up a little bit so far the battery is the only thing that's like left that i didn't really mess with ironically enough it's still going pretty good but yeah it sounds not bad I'll give you guys a quick little start with some revs on it now you guys can hear the nice uh Ready SP exhaust. It does sound pretty well for what it is. Um, 
I have that squeaking noise. I noticed it's from actually where the the uh, slave cylinder pushes against that plate. I guess I didn't grease it well enough in there, so it kind of like squeaks. Because if I stick my hand on it, if I put my finger on it and stop it from jiggling, it stops that squeak. So that's a little, that sucks. But I'll go ahead, give it a few revs for you guys. Sorry if uh, it doesn't sound too, too good. Good old. That's, so that, that's the Gretty SP setup. Um, like I said, stock manifold, stock stock down pipe um, a magnaflow high flow cat for a coupe for an eg coupe obviously um, that's running back to the gretty sp exhaust for the most part it sounds pretty good um so even in the car it's not even that loud i mean like i said i'll bring it up for you guys would say uh jumping it off a of VTEC there but uh it's a non VTEC motor so I can't even say that but I definitely wanted to make a video posting this car because there is going to be a lot more that I am going to change on it and plus I haven't even posted a video with me doing any of the things I've already done to the car which there's been a lot obviously I took the whole motor out of it I still have the other motor that's in the back of the Dakota right now um obviously I swapped out the whole cat back that got aesthetic got pretty expensive the, just the Gretty cat back alone was like 800 bucks. Plus, the new cat was another $300. And then you got a $300 for the motor, another like 200 for the clutch. And then you got the intake, which actually wasn't that bad. It was like 60, 70 bucks. Um, the headlights were about 130, 140. Tail lights were another 80. Um, the carbon wing, that was 700 for the, car the new carbon wing. It already came with tint. It already came with the work wheels. Uh, it already came with the rear subframe and lower control arm braces. I did put the new, so the front strut tower brace that was about 150, I think, and the back was about another 150. Not 100% sure. I'll actually get like an actual price list in one of these future videos. But for right now, just wanted to give you guys an update on the EG hatch since I haven't even posted this thing yet. So. This is going to be another new one to the channel. Um, trying to keep everything up to date. Obviously, the Genesis I still have, but I'm still getting work done to it. It's still waiting for its new heart. But, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be the, e the 92 EG hatch. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And, uh, like always, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.